Next, we will do the block that displays um, kind of steps in a process. So let's call it steps. Again, select the section and add the block action. And let's say steps, steps, and category is flex. And notice how easy it is to create custom blocks. It's really kind of mindless process almost just coming up with ID names. It's the most difficult part. Um, so that's really um, a big difference compared to hand coding all these React blocks um, uh, with, with code. So anyway, and let's make it editable again. Label. label and the title title and let's do the image 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 and now we we will again define uh, inner content area for the sub block so blocks inner area and this should contain step blocks and the first element will be used to define the step blocks step blocks so step step and the custom flex category and here we don't really have a smart way to enumerate them automatically like one two three four so we will just make this editable the number so we'll say black block attribute number and the name block attribute name name and block attribute let's say description and what else? So oh, the parent, the oh, not here on the block, <clears throat> on the block, sub blocks, more options. Parent should only be steps. Okay, let's export and then go to our page, reload and steps are here let's change the image our surfing team and then when it comes to these sub blocks we can just edit the number like that update let's view the page and here it is so maybe you're thinking oh this is kind of getting boring just creating these blocks with inner blocks and and blah 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 and these ids but so i have good news for you next we will tackle something more interesting an interactive slider so we will not only make this a editable block but we will also implement the slider itself